So they know when something unhealthy and they go clean it up. That's their job. They'll eat it, diseases and whatever. Are they, yeah, they're the great recyclers. Exactly right. And so that's the key right there because their energy gives off a certain color. Energy and colors are the same thing. So if you see the color, you know what energy th that is. It's really simple. Or, and even vice versa, you can hear the, I hear the, the color. When you hear the color, I know what frequency it is automatically. And what's cool is that you can uh, have a mixture of different colors, like white, right? White is a, a sound of all the colors, and black is none of the colors. So they have a different frequency too, also. So that's the whole pro. That's all. To me, it's it's one thing. So when I work on, so I go to somebody's home and they say, "I have a sick tree," and I say, "I want you to spray the tree." I says, "Well, here's the way it works. You want me to heal your finger? I got to deal with the body." Duh. I'm not going to try to take your money and heal, work on the finger forever because it's not going to work. Heal the body, takes care of your finger. So I, I, law of cause and effect, see? And the money is easy if you deal with the effect. You're always going to come back, come back once a year, once a month, forever, the rest of your life. Don't solve the problem. It all goes back to the soil. My health is definitely related to the soil. And I live in a condo with no soil, but fortunately, I go to people's properties to stick my hand in their soil, right? <laughs> you know what I mean, right? So I get grounded that way. I'm really frustrated because I don't have my own place. In Florida, people used to come around and give tours. <laughs> you know, it's like, they used to say, what is this going here? That's the only way you can prove it, right? I, I, when I talk to professionals, says, no, it doesn't work that way. I said, well, I'll prove it. I'll prove it. And I, and I can prove it because I, I'm really good at growing things, but people... Uh, like I, there was a, a study that said that we were all starving if we were doing organic gardening because you couldn't grow enough. Did you read that the study, right? Well, of and, course. There, that's the that study was bought out by the fertilizer companies, like so much other information that we've been bombarded with. So the study studied all these other studies. Yeah, that's, that's what they did. They took all these studies. And we came to the conclusion that you're going to starve. So I looked at the other studies. Says none of them was a, a me. I was not part of that study, or even Leighton, or even you. I bet you guys are really good growers. You know what I mean? None of us were really – if you take a real good organic farmer, put him in there, and compare it with the rest of the other guys. So one, so this one company, one school says, we're going to take all these seeds, and we're going to grow them in different plots together, and we're going to see what happens. So one plot was organic, one plot was neutral, the other plot was chemical. And, and, they, and they would give organic – they would get the same seeds – Put it, plant them in each one, and the organic one, they've, they've well, said maybe throw some organic fertilizer at it or something. The neutral one that did nothing, and the other one that did chemicals. And they came to the conclusion that the chemical one was really doing really well, better than the organic one. And I said, well, a farmer would have amended the soil. A farmer would have done something to the soil first before he planted it in this crap. I would. I would tear it up and start digging, doing something to it. You know, I'll do a green cover crop, whatever, right? You know, to, to get it back in some shape. So that study was wrong. That was a bad. Then another guy said, that another school, these are schools. The schools are funded by the chemical people. They're not allowed. Like, remember I told you about all these guys in the 10,000 white? Well, with a real problem was, hey, we can't say we're organic because they lo we lose our funding. That was a real problem. See, see what I mean, right? I'm always about the money, Andy. You know that. That's why it's always about the money. Money, So that's what it's all about. And that's what we have to eventually. That's why I like Star Trek so much. It's not about the money. It's not <laughs> about the money, right? It's not about you can do whatever you want to do with your life instead of, gee, how am I going to make enough money, right? And so we have, and religion's all about the money. <laughs> religion's all, all about the money. <clears throat> Did you ever hear that joke, Andy? Uh, I stand up comedian goes, what was the greatest scam ever created by humanity? And he goes on to talk about religion. He goes, you know, this guy tells you that he loves you, but if you don't do what he says, you're going to go to hell. <laughs> and, and this, and this guy is always needs money, but he controls the whole universe. Well, why would he need money? <laughs> and he goes on and on. It's a great, it's a great stand up, but and it's, and it's true. And it's, yeah. and it's true. You know, there... well, it's, it, created a, uh, a way to control people who had weak minds bottom line but but you know let's let's not go too deep into religion let's reel this back in and, and talk more 